You know, sometimes the news can be a little stressful. Uh, so much strife, so much uncertainty. And while we are a city of politics, we're also a city of art. And so that's what I'm turning to, our art. Beautiful music. We've always had beautiful music here. Great composers like even John Philip Sousa. Of course, Duke Ellington. Then there's Billy Taylor. He wasn't born here. He graduated from Dunbar High School. Uh, and of course, Marvin Gaye. My goodness, we were just a stone's throw, my grandmother, from Marvin Gaye's home. And she and Mrs. Gaye used to exchange recipes. My grandmother would make hamburgers for Mrs. Gaye. Because it's, what could we do without what's going on? That was one of the national anthems in Washington, D.C. And then we have great theatrical players here. Helen Hayes, I mean, I mean a standout figure on legitimate theater. Uh, we have William Hurt. Taraji Henson, and of course, if you like the movie Boycott, we had two from Washington, D.C. Jeffrey Wright playing King, and of course, Eric Dellums as Bayard Rustin. That's where I'm looking now. I'm looking to art, looking to music, looking to drama, because that's all so defining part of Washington, D.C. We are more than a city of monuments.